Welcome back guys, AMD Cephasa 3.1 is now officially available in 5 Nexus games. These games are Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales, Ghost of Tsushima, Horizon Forbidden West and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. God of War Ragnarok will be having FSR 3.1 support day 1 of its release. Version 3.1 improves the image quality of FSR upscaler. Temporal stability is the focus. Now we'll be observing less shimmering and flickering during moving objects. The key highlight of FSR 3.1 is the decoupling of the upscaler from FSR frame generation. This means we can use other upscalers like XCSS or DLSS in conjunction with FSR frame generation. We don't have to rely on FSR upscaler. In this video, I'll be comparing the performance of all of these upscalers. Now the biggest difference among DLSS, XCSS and FSR upscalers lies in the rendering of fine textures like power lines, grills and fences. Historically, FSR has struggled to render them properly. When viewing power lines and fences from a far off distance, FSR upscaler causes them to flicker. In this video, we'll be seeing if this issue has been fixed or not. Now, FSR frame generation tries to double the FPS by adding interpolated frames. It relies on optical flow technology and game data like motion vectors. This is why it cannot be implemented on a driver level basis like FSR version 1. The game developers have to implement this technology into their games. This is exactly what has happened in the case of these 5 games. Now for a good experience with frame gen, AMD recommends having a minimum of 60 FPS. This way you won't be observing a lot of frame generation related artifacts. Input delay won't be a problem as well. From my own testing, I can say that you can use frame generation even with games running at 30 FPS, especially if you are using a gamepad. Using a mouse makes it easier to observe the input delay. However, when the FPS drops below 20, frame generation related artifacts become very aggressive, easily noticeable and input delay increases significantly. In that case, you are better off running the games without frame generation. Now all of these games got updated recently. They support DLSS version 3.7, XCSS version 1.3 and FSR 3.1. I'll be testing them on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. My monitor supports FreeSync Premium, so I'll enable G-Sync from NVIDIA Control Panel, G-Sync compatible. Under Display section, just click on Setup G-Sync. Check Enable G-Sync, G-Sync compatible. Check this setting as well, enable settings for the selected display. I've also enabled V-Sync on a global level basis, just click on Manage 3D settings. This page will pop up, click on Global settings, scroll down to the end, look for V-Sync. It's enabled, won't be enabling VSync from the game settings. I'll kick things off with Spider-Man. It's the same version of the game, just click on settings. Resolution set at full HD, window mode exclusive full screen. Upscale method, first I'll just run the game using FSR3 upscaler using its quality preset. Frame generation disabled for the timing, option to select FSR frame generation. My display supports up to 240Hz refresh rate, in-game VSync disabled. Graphics, I am using the high preset with motion blur and film gain strength set to nil. We will be using afterburn overlay to show you the performance metrics. Start the game. Nvidia's reflex technology is working. This is why the game's FPS is capped at 225 on a 240Hz refresh rate display. There's Spider-Man. Moving the camera slowly can observe some grainy textures around Spidey's head. Now just observe the buildings in the far off background. This building right in the middle. It has some strips, FSR upscaler is causing the building's textures to flicker when viewed from a far off distance. It's still, AMD still hasn't fixed this issue. See, textures are flickering even when I'm not moving the camera. I'll just switch to XSS version 1.3. Still using the quality preset. Back to the game and you can see that flickering is gone. Building textures look way better using XCSS than FSR3. Some flickering is present when I move the camera slowly. Observing less grainy textures around Spidey's head. But some minor ghosting is present. I'll just switch to DLSS. You can even use IGTI in Somiax upscaler. DLSS quality. With DLSS, the building textures don't flicker and the image is stationary. Some flickering is going on when I move the camera around. It's a close call between DLSS and XCSS. I'm not observing 
any artifacts around Spidey's head. So I'll give the win to TLSS. Both of them easily perform better than FS upscaler. Now I'll just enable frame generation. Without it, FPS is around 140. Swing around as well. Frame generation set to FSR 3. Back to the game and you can see FPS increased to around 200. This is just insane. Wow, the game is running so smoothly. Looks amazing using the DLSS upscaler. Smooth as butter. I've already shown the live input response. In my raw guy live video, you can always refer to it. Game's heart does not flicker as well. I can see Spidey's shadow flickering on the ground below me. Bit difficult to observe it, but the flickering is definitely present there. Minor graphical artifact. Now I'll be testing the next game. It's the Epic Games version of Miles Morales. Same settings as before. Window mode set to exclusive full screen. Full HD resolution. First I'll run the game using FSR 3 upscaler. It's quality preset. Frame generation disabled for the time being. VSync disabled. Using the high preset, motion blur strength and frame gain strength set to nil. Start the game. There's Miles moving the camera around slowly. I can observe some grainy textures around his head. Now try to observe the windows with decorative lighting in the background. The LED lights are not blinking, but the upscaler is making them look as if they are flickering. I'll just switch to XCSS upscaler now to give you an idea. You can see the windows in the background are not flickering now. I can still observe some grainy textures around Miles head. I'll switch to DLSS now. Again the windows are not flickering with DLSS. Some grainy textures are still present around Miles head but the intensity is less than both FSR 3 and XCSS. Best result with DLSS subscaler. These are the decorative lights. The windows. So in both Spider-Man games, DLSS and XCSS subscalers perform better than FSR 3 upscaler. Now I'll just enable frame generation. Apply. Back to the game. FPS increased to around 200. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Frame generation is working very nicely in conjunction with DLSS up. Game's hut is not flickering. Trying to look for Miles' shadow. Not appearing on the ground. Similar performance in both Spider-Man games. Now I'll be testing the next game. Steam version of Ghost of Tsushima, DirectX cut, game settings, display mode set to exclusive full screen, full HD resolution, upscale method set to FSR 3 using its quality preset, frame generation disabled for the time being, VSync disabled, using the high preset, motion plus 10 set to nil, there's a character Jin. Now try to observe the string of Jin's bow, when I move the camera around slowly, the string produces some coasting very easily observable ugly ghosting is produced I'll just switch to XCSS some artifacts are also visible around Jin's arrows switch to XCSS quality ok so ghosting around the bow string is still present with XCSS but the intensity has been reduced by it was more intense when I was using FSR 3. I'll just switch to DLSS now. Apply. DLSS quality. Yeah, the ghosting of bow string has been fixed with DLSS. It's gone. It may still be present but very difficult to spot it. This is the way to play the game. Looking from another angle. 
can't spot it now i'll enable frame generation fsr without it we were getting around 80 to 90 fps here fps increased to around 135 close to 140 sprinting around it's a very smooth experience you can observe the added amount of smoothness games hud is not flickering shadow is also not flickering works very nicely VRAM usage is around 6.5 GB hitting the GP bottleneck now I'll be testing the next game Horizon Forbidden West Steam version frame generation has been fixed now with FSR 3.1 prior to this update whenever I used to enable frame generation is this game using FSR 3 mods game used to suffer from frame pacing issues exclusive full screen display mode full HD resolution upscale method set to FSR 3 using its quality preset fresh it set to 240Hz FSR frame generation disabled for the time being VSync off using the high preset motion blur strength set to nil there's Aloy FPS here is around 65 not observing any significant graphical artifacts around Aloy's character model observing the environmental textures looking quite good this is FSR upscaler Even the rope textures are rendered properly. I'll switch to XCSS. Using its quality preset. Good image quality even using XCSS. Not observing any artifacts around Aloy's character model, no ghosting. Environmental textures are rendered properly. Rope is not flickering. Roughly the same performance, 65 FPS. Switch to DLSS now. Back to the game. Again, roughly the same performance. Image quality is looking slightly sharper with DLSS compared to both FSR and XCSS no artifacts around the character model I'll just enable frame generation now close competition in this game FSR frame generation apply there shouldn't be any frame pacing issues now there you go it's a very smooth experience frame generation is definitely working just head to the nearby quarry site, we'll be fighting against bristlebacks. There they are, roaming around. Looks like some sort of Try to do some elemental damage. I can take you. Using the wrong arrows. What is it doing there? Finally, shot the canister. Future exploded. FPS stays within a range of 100 to 120 during combat I'll be testing the next game Steam version of Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart whenever I used FSR 3 mods in this game to enable FSR frame generation games hurt used to flicker this won't happen now with the official FSR 3 implementation display mode set to exclusive full screen full HD resolution upscale method set to FSR 3 using its quality preset frame generation disabled for the time being VSync off 
using the high preset motion blur strength and film grain strength set to nil we are in moving the camera around slowly i can observe some grainy textures around richard's character model try to observe the flow textures in the far off background they are appearing to be flickering these flow textures when viewed from a far off distance like this appear to be flickering i'll just switch to xcss quality preset back to the game and you can see the flow textures are not flickering now with xcss observing less grainy textures around rhs character model using xcss but there is some ghosting now i'll just switch to dlss DLSS quality back to the game flow textures are not flickering not observing any significant artifacts around Richard's character model so DLSS works the best in this game then it's XCSS FSR takes the last spot would not recommend using FSR in this game textures were looking very ugly FPS is within a range of 70 to 80. Just enable frame generation now. You can also use FSR frame generation without using any upscaler. Just need to enable FSR native anti aliasing. Back to the game. The yeah, FPS increased to around 130. This is amazing. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. Game's hurt is not flickering as you can see. This issue has been resolved. Input delay is not an issue. I'm playing the game using mouse and keyboard. Just clear the area. FPS stays close to. 120 let's make sure you have installed this game on an ssd you don't want to run this game off a normal hard drive it's going to stutter a lot especially when going through the rifts in the end i would say dlss performed the best i would give the second spot to xcss version 1.3 Last part goes to FSR. It still struggles to render fine textures properly, like the power grids, fences, and grills. Frame generation works very nicely, helped in almost doubling the performance. Good to see. Now we can use different upscalers with FSR frame generation. For RTX based GPUs, I recommend using DLSS. On non RTX based GPUs, you should try using both XCSS and FSR 3 upscalers to see which one performs better. In my testing of these five games, I observed that XCSS upscaler performed better than FSR3 in most of the games. Looking forward to seeing more games officially supporting FSR 3.1 in the near future. That's it for the video guys. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.